Hello and welcome. In this Java for Tester tutorial, we will learn about the variables in Java. So Java variable is, uh, you can think of it as a container which uh, holds the value that is used when you are executing your program. So we have been using variables. So if you see this, you know, program here, the previous uh, tutorial we have seen through, um, this str1 is the variable, right? So it's sort of container which is holding this string rcv. Similarly, str3 is a variable of type string which is holding the value as rcv, right? So let me uh, create a new class and I'll explain you what are the type of variables um, and uh, how you can use variables in Java. So I'll say variables demo and let me add a main method so i'll simply say main uh, control space enter right so now the syntax of defining a variable is very simple so what you have to do is you have to simply specify the type of the variable so for example the data type so you can simply say uh, type space the variable name so variable name and followed by the assignment operator and the actual value that you want to assign to that particular variable right so this is the simple you know format or the syntax to define or declare the variable and assign a value to that particular variable now say for example i have to declare or you know declare integer variable type so i can say the data type as int right and i'll say my number which is the name of the variable assignment operator and i can assign the value so for example i want to assign 10 and semicolon right so now this my number is the variable which is holding the value 10 right now this variable is of type integer okay so as we have already learned that java provides eight primitive data types so if I want to define a character, so I'll say char and name of the variable, say ch, whatever name you want to specify, single quotes. And within single quote, I can specify the value that I want to store in this particular variable. Okay. Similarly, um, for a string, str, uh, string str one and then whatever string value i want to store so for example rcv so that's how you will you know store or declare the variable and store the value into the variables in java now there are three different types of variables in java now all these variables that you have seen here are within this method right so any variables which are defined within you know the specific methods are called as local variable okay so for example i define a method um, public void my method okay so this is uh, how you will define method i'll cover more detail about the methods and if i specify or define a variable here say int i is equal to 20 right so this variable uh, the scope of this variable is only within this you know curly braces or within the method uh, so this is called as local variable okay and if i define a variable within the class so this is the class variables demo this is the curly brace right for the class if i define int j is equal to 20 then this variable is called instance variable okay the scope of this variable is within this particular class so all the methods within uh, this particular class can access this variable and then there is another uh, variable which is the static variable which i'll cover later when when i i'll cover uh, the advanced concept but uh, just to give you a brief introduction so uh, just remember that there are uh, three different variables uh, variables types of variables local variable which are defined within the method instance variable which is defined within that particular class and the scope of the instance variable is within the particular class and uh, you know uh, the static variable 
which we'll cover later okay so now for example if i want to you know use this instance variable right i can't directly use it i have to create an object of uh, this particular you know uh, class and then i can use this instance variable inside okay so i can't simply say uh, print j here okay you will get an error because the uh, either i have to change it to static to use it or i have to create an object so we'll cover all these concepts later i don't want to confuse uh, you know you guys here at this point so these are three different types now for example you want to concatenate the you know different variables so uh, how you can concatenate you can simply uh, use uh, the concatenation operator which is plus operator so um, say for example this is the number and uh, the string I want to concatenate so I want to print say for example um, string concatenated with the variable my number okay so you simply use the plus operator and then run this program and you can see rcv10 got printed right so there is no space if you want to specify the space you simply add a space in between okay a string and then use another plus operator so what this is doing is this is one variable which is the string variable concatenated with the space or the string which has the space in between with another uh, you know a variable which is of the number type so if you are if you are using concatenation for the plus here uh, the plus operator it is concatenating string with number okay and now there will be space printed so you'll see uh, there will be a space printed now if you are using this plus with two integers so for example i have another integer so i'll say second number okay which has the value of 10 again now if i want to use you know same concatenation operator with two two uh, you know number or integer type so what will happen okay let me remove this okay so second number plus first number so this will be this will return you the sum of these two number so this plus operator is the mathematical operator if you are adding the two numbers okay if it if you are you know using it between two integers it will return you the sum of the two integers but if you are uh, using it with the string and a number it will concatenate the string with the number okay so that's about you know concatenation how you'll concatenate uh, briefly and the next thing is basically the naming convention of these variables okay so uh, here you can see I have specified, you know, I have given the name, a short name, just like J or I uh, in this case. But uh, the advisable, you know, thing is basically to use the reasonable or uh, the names that are very clear to understand. Say, so for example, if you are using uh, a variable to store the marks, okay, so uh, naming it as marks or having a, a proper name to the variables makes your code ma more maintainable and easy to understand if someone else is you know looking into that particular code so that's you know a brief about what is uh, what are variables uh, we have understood about instance variable and uh, the uh, local variable which are within the within the methods right the local variables and um, then we have also looked that there is one more type of variable which is stat static variable which we'll cover in the later part when we understand the static uh, concept in java so that's all for this tutorial hope you like it thank you very much for watching